Okay, continuing on with our uh, lesson in translating and symbols, let's take a look at the next one. So we have two statements, J, which we already know is A is the vertex of BAC, right, that's our J, and we have this arrow which has two heads. If you have an arrow that has two directions like this, that means it's a biconditional. Why conditional? Really, it's just if and only if, okay? Which we already talked about, right? If and only if. And if you're wondering, well, what does that exactly mean? We'll talk about how this affects the truth and uh, logic of how these statements connect. But for today, we're just talking about how to translate from statements and symbols into language and so forth, okay? So, J, let's start out there. We have an if and only if, which means we do need to start with the words if. And the only difference is here that because it has a two-headed arrow, we need if, and then instead of a then, it's going to be an if. and only if. Okay, so if, and then our J statement of A is the vertex of angle B, A, C. So if, and statement, now, and only if, and only if, and now we fill in the second statement, which is T, which we know is A is not a plane. So T, A, should be capitalized. A is not a plane. Okay. All right. So, are you ready for one that looks a little different? Putting a little bit more together? Yes, yes you are. Good answer. Okay. So, So this is going to be um, a combined two statements, and then it draws a conclusion for T. Do you see how it has parentheses around those? That means that those two statements go together. All right, so we'll start there, and we're starting out with S, and it's got an AND in it. Okay, so I don't need to put anything between. We're working with an AND, which means we're connecting, remember, okay. AND is connecting. I forgot to write, which is not the opposite, right? So, uh, for this one, S, which is A is on AB, is where we'll start. We don't need an if then because it doesn't have an arrow. So, A is on AB. And then the upward arrow, again, means and. So, and, you'll have to excuse me, I'm still not feeling great, and J, which is A is the vertex of BAC, angle BAC, okay, and you're writing this down as well. So this is the first part of the statement. It says that this and this has to be true, or this and this are statements. Therefore, remember that we said that if we have three dots, it means therefore, okay? That's therefore, it means we're drawing our conclusion. Drawing conclusion, so therefore, And then T, which is A is not a plane. All right. So for now, you don't have to do anything other than match the statement, right, to the letter, connect it with the correct symbol and translating symbol. 
it'll either be an if then, an if and only if, an and or, a negate, or a therefore. Okay? Now let's see if we can go the opposite direction and translate words into symbols. Okay? So, again, we're looking for three different statements here. We have you see lightning, that's L. Right? Lightning for L. And then T looks like for thunder. You hear thunder. And then R is going to be an it's not raining. Okay, so we've got three different statements. Let's see what we've got here. The first one says, you hear thunder and it's not or it is raining. Okay, so that's a little different. You hear thunder. That is the exact statement that we have right here. You hear thunder. You hear thunder. Excellent. So we know that this one needs to be a T. This is statement T. Okay. Then we see the word and connecting it. Okay. That's one of the symbols that we need for our connection. And. Right. That's our important one. And then it is raining. Well, that sounds a lot like R, except for R is it is not raining. So it looks like they've changed R a little bit. They've taken R and done the opposite. They went from not raining to is raining. Remember that when we're doing the opposite of something, that produces a negation. That means that we're doing the uh, opposite. Okay? So opposite of raining is not raining. Right? So we're going to do the opposite of R. Mm. Opposite of R. So the way that we would write this out after we've done this, okay, is just to write these letters the way that we see them here. We have T, you hear thunder, and, and then it is raining. And it is raining. And it is raining, which is the opposite of it is not raining, so we need the negation symbol. Okay? Alright, let's try the next one. You see lightning. Okay? Awesome. You see lightning. Uh, one that we've done already. So, you see lightning. It's identical to what we have up there for L. And then we see the word or, okay, so or uses this statement, the upside down A, or the upside down and, it is not raining. Now, it is not raining, we already said it is not raining is what they have given us, the exact same thing. So this isn't the opposite of something, it's what was given, we haven't changed it. So it's just L or R. Stays just like that. Okay? So we have, if you see lightning, you see lightning, or it's not raining. L or symbol R. Got it? Okay. I think you're getting this hang of it. Let's see what we've got here. You see lightning, which we know already is L. So we have our UC lightning is our L, and then we see our IFF, that means if and only if, remember our symbol for a biconditional, if and only if, an if then statement, one F means one arrow, two F's means, two F's means two arrows, so arrow, arrow, biconditional. So if you see lightning, or you see lightning, if and only if, you hear thunder, and you hear thunder is the exact same as before. Okay, so we can just keep that as a T. Alright, so the way that we write this in logical symbolism is L and then by conditional arrow and then T. <coughs> okay. Alright, so last one. Okay, if you see lightning then you hear thunder. 
right? We see an if and a then, which means we're going to have an arrow somewhere in the middle. One statement and then an arrow. So our first statement is you see lightning. And you see lightning is identical to our L statement above. So it's going to start with an L. So if L, then you hear thunder, which is identical to our original statement of T. So L, L, T, if L, then T. And it's also given us another statement, therefore it's raining. Remember, therefore is this three dots. Right? Therefore, and then it is raining. Uh-oh, is that identical to it is not raining? No, it is raining. It is the opposite of not. So it went from not to it is. So it changed. It became the opposite of what R started out as, right? So therefore, not R. So, therefore, it's not raining, or it is raining. Therefore, not R. Not symbol, negation, R. Okay? So, uh, take some time. Uh, this can be a little time-consuming, but it's not particularly challenging once you get the hang of it. Remember, you are not going to memorize all these symbols at once. So, if you have this part... You can flip back and forth between this. And as you're going through and you're trying to work out this on your own on the back, uh, feel free to look at the examples we've done on the front and apply this. And I will see you soon.